visiting the site mindyourdecision.com I found the following problem. From each corner of parallelogram draw two line segments to, uh, to co connect the corner to the midpoint of the opposite sides. For example, from this corner I connect to the midpoint of this side. So you have here uh, eight line segments and they bound an octagon and we would like to know what is the ratio of this octagon area to the parallelogram area. Okay. So they presented the solution in this video that is uh, six the ratio and it uses uh, elementary mathematics but it seems to me a little bit complicated more complicated than the solution I'm going to present and I hope uh, you would like that, this solution. So here is the problem again and we have here the, the octagon and uh, we would like to show that this octagon is 1 over 6 ratio of the area of the uh, parallelogram as done in the uh, minddecision.com uh, uh, site uh, they divide the, this parallelogram into four parts into four quarters so now we are left with quarter of the uh, parallelogram and quarter of the hectagon and we would like to show that the ratio between this quarter and this quarter is exactly 1 over 6. So we do one more division, we divide the parallelogram into two parts, two triangle. Triangle ABC is half area of the parallelogram here and we take half of the residual hectagon this shadowed part and we would like to show that this part is 1 over 6 of the area of this triangle ABC. But notice that in this triangle AA prime is exactly a median, BB, uh, CC prime is also a median and therefore BB prime is a median and we have here three median that divide the rectangle into six parts and we would like to show that this part is 1 over 6 of one of those six parts and this is really uh, trivial to show uh, uh, for example uh, this uh, median divide the area of this triangle into two parts and you have two thirds to one third so each part is one th each of the three parts is one third of the area uh, of the original one and therefore each of the six is one over six of the area of this triangle and by this we done the proof. Thank you.